Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Yeah! OCG players, cover your ears, because this episode we're playing Dragoon! No, not that Dragoon, this Dragoon. Destiny and Dragoon, one of the biggest what-ifs in Yu-Gi-Oh's history. I remember looking at this card as a child and thinking, why aren't people playing this? 3,000 attack is nothing to shake a stick at, it comes back every turn, and it pops cards, just like Dark Arm Dragon. In a vacuum, this looks like one of Yu-Gi-Oh's most powerful bosses of all time, and it came out in like 2008. Unfortunately, when it's removed from a vacuum and put into applied yuging, it becomes clear pretty instantly that this card sucks. It's way too slow to take over a game, it can only pop or attack in one given turn, which means that it's going to take multiples to get through an opponent's monster lineup. It requires exactly plasma and dogma, and can't really be cheated out because it has to be made with those fusion monsters, which means you're dedicating a significant amount of your deck to cards that are terrible in a format where people were doing that with much better fun ofs, and at the end of the day, banishing a destiny hero in order to summon this card back from the graveyard is a neat way to recur a monster, but doesn't play particularly well around a lot of the removal spells that people were packing. As a result, this card never really made it out of bulk. I had to comb through a ton of Pojo posts in order to find some people who were having success with this strategy, and I think what I've come up with is the closest potential use of this card that ever saw play. Realistically, Destiny and Dragoon just doesn't compare to Dark Arm Dragon, and this is a running theme among GX-style archetypes. They just can't compete with the big boy. This card can pop cards and attack on the same turn. It can get so much more value out of one individual activation than something like a Dragoon can, but Dragoon does a couple of things that Dark Arm Dragon doesn't. The recursive nature of this card means that you can pair it with cards like Deck Devastation Virus and Eradicator Epidemic Virus, pop an opponent's card, trade it for a virus, eat a couple more, and then bring it back the next turn when your opponent no longer has any resources to use. It's sort of flexible with other hero monsters as well. Generic hero fusions like Absolute Zero play very nicely with spent copies of Plasma and Dogma in the graveyard. All you need is a water and a chain material or a miracle fusion or a polymerization, and King of the Swamp is a fantastic one of those. And since Dragoon is in the graveyard so frequently, it pairs really well with Phantom of Chaos, a card that was played pretty extensively in Dark Arm Dragon decks, but actually has incredibly powerful capabilities in this one as well. Realistically, I think viruses are the natural conclusion of the Destiny and Dragoon package. I hope they're enough to stop Simo's onslaught of large mechanical men, but realistically, I think we are likely just playing a bad version of a DDT deck playing three copies of Dark Arm Dragon. So let me walk you through the individual cards. First, we've got Chaos Sorcerer. Prisma is a light, which means that we can fulfill the entire summoning condition using a polymerization and a well-timed Prisma activation. We've got a Dark Arm Dragon, of course. It's kind of hard to keep three in the graveyard, but cards like uh, Destiny and Dragoon really help, allowing you to manipulate how many are in rotation. Triple Dogma and Triple Plasma, unfortunately, you probably have to play these ratios. One Ocean, three Prisma, one Stratos, one Gores, triple King of the Swamp. While this card is fantastic for searching polymerization, unfortunately it's really bad at actually making Dragoon because it has to be the actual fusion material monsters used for its fusion summon. Morphing Jar is good because we are going to be down on cards frequently and double Phantom of Chaos. We're also playing an Allure of Darkness, triple E-Call, a Fusion Sage, a copy of Heavy Storm, a Miracle Fusion. We maybe should bump this up to two, a Mystical Space Typhoon, Triple Polymerization, Reinforcement of the Army, Scapegoat, really good in decks playing Destiny Hero Plasma because you contribute off the tokens in order to summon this monster. Remember, these tokens can't be tributed for a tribute summon, 
but they can be attributed for a special summon like plasmas. Two chain material, this allows us you to use material in your graveyard as material for a fusion summon. Uh, spent plasmas and dogmas can convert into another dragoon. Now, unfortunately, this does destroy the monster during the end phase, but if you're making a dragoon, you can just bring it back afterwards anyway. Double deck devastation virus, double eradicator epidemic virus, and one solemn judgment. In the extra, unsurprisingly, we've got three destiny and dragoon, and two elemental hero absolute zero. So with that, wish me luck. You know, I deserve to be here after my piss poor performance piloting Crystal Beast in the last episode, you know, not knowing how the Crystal Beasts work when they're killed by battle, forgetting to activate Rainbow Ruins multiple times, not realizing that Dragon Queen of Tragic Endings or whatever the fuck it's called wasn't even actually technically released during the time, so we're kind of outside of the timeline, but... You know, it's the history of jank, right? We're able to mess things up and you guys are still going to watch anyway. Speaking of which, people would just play anything during this time not to play dad, right? Like this is another deck that looks sort of like T hero or like you're just like standard like destiny hero sort of like engine list packed with like good stuff. But then you're playing triple Jinzo, triple Jinzo returner and you're just for like some OTK potential, right? I guess this is like a budget way to play a similar deck if you can't afford dark arm dragon. It's kind of funny, right? So I guess we can go ahead and do the card by card and talk about this because this is what we're playing today. So we've got your standard, uh, you know, just typical good stuff machines, card trooper, cyber dragon, cyber valleys in here, which is nice because because it has a weird synergies because you can like tribute off itself and like another card like a Jinzo Returner that may be like already on the field or something or maybe like Joseph won't kill this for a turn. We can summon Jinzo Returner, sack it off, draw two, trigger Jinzo Returner and bring back Jinzo. Speaking of which, I should also mention the win condition of this deck. What you're trying to do ideally is open Future Fusion, shocker, right? But you want to use Future Fusion to dump a bunch of machines for Chimera Tech Over Dragon, six of which being three copies of Jinzo and three copies of Jinzo Returner. Upon six Sending three Jinzo return to the graveyard, this card, if you've never seen it before, reads, this card can attack directly, and when this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target a Jinzo in your graveyard, special summon it, but destroying during your end phase. So, if you send three Jinzo returner, you can then summon three Jinzo, which is 7,200 attack power worth of monsters, your opponent can activate traps, and any other monster is going to be lethal, limiter removal would do the trick as well, so that's where this deck gets its reach, right? Continuing on with that, Dark Greffer actually triggers this interaction, you can send either a Jinzo Returner or a Jinzo, dump the other one, trigger the Returner, get a Jinzo out, you've got a decent amount of bodies on the field, right? You can get some damage in. It's not bad. It doesn't stick around for long, but it at least gives you like 4,100 worth of damage to actually hit your opponent for, so that's okay. This deck's also on Triple Dasher, which may seem odd, but because you're playing Triple Jinzo, this deck can just brick on Jinzo, because you don't really have ways to get it out of your hand aside from like Allure of Darkness or Card Destruction, so Dasher being in here allows you to, if you draw a Jinzo, you can just slam the Jinzo on the field for free, so that's pretty good. Then we have a Disc Commander, a Plasma, a Stratos, and the Sangan wrapping up our monsters. The spells are Tool Lure of Darkness, Brain Control, Card Destruction, Triple Destiny Draw. We definitely need this because we're playing three Dasher. Future Fusion, Heavy Storm Limiter, Monster Reborn, Overload Fusion to just hard summon Chimera Tech Over Dragon if we need to, Premature and Reinforcement of the Army. And the trap lineup's actually pretty good. Crush Card Virus, two Limit Reverse is actually nice because it actually allows us to trigger Jinzo Returner if we need to, but we can also just bring back Disc Commander as well, which then just nets us cards and that means we have Crush Card Virus Live, so it's like more copies of Call of the Haunted or Premature Burial Monster Reborn. Return from the different dimensions, fun, because we can bring back all the stuff we banish, and Torrential Tribute is just a good stuff trap. So, I think this will fare okay. I mean, I don't know how it's going to go against Destiny and Dragoon, but we'll have to see. If we can resolve Future Fusion one game, we'll probably win, so that'll be nice, and uh, hopefully we can get out of this absurdly ugly jank tank for at least a week. So guys, I can't wait to see how this one's going to go. It's going to be ridiculous, just throwing Jinzos and Destiny and Dragoons at each other, and so I don't know who's really favored here, but ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Joseph, why does it seem like every episode of The History of Jank, it just seems like it gets worse and worse? Like, I think the previous episode is, like, as bad as it can get, and now we're playing fucking Destiny and Dragoon Turbo. Listen. You know, it just... It, we fucking carousel of fucking madness. We got a lot of pushback on the last episode. Um, and to you, I would say, uh, to those in the comments, I would say, um, uh, cry about it. Uh, if you came to <laughs> history of jank expecting us not to misplay, you know, I have really bad news for you. I'm aiming to show off some of my expertise in failing to read my own cards right now.
Exactly. Like, did I not read Crystal Beast cards properly? Yes. Did I not activate Rainbow Ruin several times? Also, yes. Did I also just completely fuck myself five different ways because I don't know how to play the deck? Of course, but it's History of Jank, so we don't give a fuck. The loser Was Dragon is Queen of Tragic Endings released? Technically, no. Did it matter? Uh, oh. Definitely no. <laughs> was it really? I missed that part. <laughs> it's a 5Ds card. I didn't know because oh, I didn't watch it. Oh, is it really? It. Oh, geez. All right. Well, Pojo let us down in that regard. Card, so yeah, okay people hell? can yeah whatever it's history you know what i bet if it was so it wasn't janky we're not doing our fucking job joe so, I, but bet on that the, note, I bet the pojo person went back and edited their post from 2008 <laughs> to add new cards to their <laughs> crystal beast deck and we were like yeah sounds good buddy they're like holy shit this card's so good in crystal beast <laughs> but on that note let's go ahead and get into it let's shout the patron it is mbt and nim nim's one boxer brief fueled night of passion <laughs> Thank you for the support. How do these fit on Patreon? How are you not getting banned from the platform? I don't understand how they let you have names that are this long. Mr. These Alex are like full Simo, on sentences We've at this noticed point. several inappropriate names in your Patreon. <laughs> are you sure that you're using this for non-illicit purposes? You're going to get a fun letter Absolutely from the IRS. Not. That's what you're going to get. Absolutely not. Who would who would be using it for illicit purposes? Not us. Uh, but buddy, do you have the hands up? Oh, I, I mean, you've hand. lost like the last like 10 die rolls at this point. I'm going to go with even. Suck. My one boxer <laughs> brief. Yeah, that's that is uh that is even. I picked four. No reason behind it. I've just started throwing <laughs> a dart at a wall. <sighs> I think that's I think it's better to not have any thought behind it at all because if you do, that's just gonna make it even more likely that I'll figure it out. I don't even know if I want to go first with this deck. If I'm being honest, I kind of want to go second just because I can just do the whole future fusion thing. But uh, I guess I'll go first. Whatever. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Good luck to you. Yeah, good luck to you as oh, well. Uh, holy shit, this hand. This is the worst hand. Let me draw for turn now. Okay, that fixes it. All right, uh, I'm going to go to main one and fire Allure of Darkness. Uh, that's fine. Okay, thank God this exists. Uh, we're going to draw two. Okay, this is exponentially better. Uh, we're going to get rid of Plasma. Uh, and then we're going to summon the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh, Stratos. Yeah, uh, go off, King. We're going to go ahead and grab with our Stratos. Uh, we kind of like already have most of the good stuff. I guess we'll get Disc Commander. That card seems pretty good. Uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, hey, there's not much else we can really do. If I'm being honest, I think I'll pass to you. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, stand by main. Wow, that's incredible. That's at wow, holy guacamole. Well, I'd better you get have the, the combo ball rolling. So the deck is actually really good at opening the combo. Uh, I'm just wondering if I could kill you. Whoa, okay. <laughs> it's it's pretty high roll. Okay, uh, I'm gonna normal Prisma and I'm gonna activate the effect. Okay, Prisma is fine. We usually see this card in Gladiator Beast, but it does serve a purpose in this deck, obviously, making Dragoon a little bit easier to summon. Right. I'm going to go ahead and reveal that Dragoon, and then I'm going to send from my deck to the graveyard a Plasma. Uh, next, I'm going to activate King of the Swamp. Going to get uh, the Poly. I will get the Poly. And really fun fact about King of the Swamp. Did you know he's a water monster? Yes. <laughs> that may come up later. Uh, not right now, though. Right now, we're just going to go ahead and activate Polymerization. Uh, I'm going to sure. fuse this Prisma and this dogma uh, in order to go into destiny and dragoon there we go there's the boy you want to go ahead and illuminate our audience to this card okay so um king of the swamp is really funny in this deck for uh adding polymerization but it doesn't actually summon dragoon this card can only be fusion summoned by using the above materials you can special it which comes up occasionally and then once per turn you can target a monster your opponent controls destroy that target and then if it was face up which is hilarious uh, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the or equal to the attack it had on the field. Uh, now if Basically, I, ring of destruction one sided. If I do that, I can't attack during the turn that I activate it. And then once per turn during the standby phase, if this card's in the graveyard, you can banish a D hero special discard. So it's not actually very hard to see where a lot of the influence for DPE's effects come from. The reanimation effect is just off Dragoon. The popping is just off this effect as well. So I am going to go ahead and activate it, targeting your Stratos. Okay, so Stratos down, I'm gonna take 1800 damage. And unfortunately, I am just a little bit off of the lethal push I wanted to do. So uh, I am gonna have to pass it back to you like this. 
Okay, unfortunate, but hopefully we can uh, see if we can make something happen here. I'll go ahead and draw. Let's mm -hmm. head on into main phase one. I'm going to go ahead and pitch a copy of Destiny Hero Dasher to special summon Dark Greffer. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and use the effect of Dark Greffer. I'm going to pitch. Unfortunately, I think I am also a bit shy off lethal here as well. So I <laughs> Dang, think the wait. play is here. We right? were playing uh, two think, really big battle cruiser decks, I guess. I think the play here is actually to pitch Disc Commander, okay. uh, which you knew I had. Seems and uh, I'm going to dump Jinzo to the grave. Yard. I just want to get this bad boy online as fast as possible. Sure. Uh, I'm going to go ahead then and fire Premature Burial. Okay. We're going to bring back the Disc Commander. Mm -hmm. uh, Disc Commander's effect's going to trigger. We're going to draw two. Ooh, does that change anything? I'm actually just going to set two cards and we're just going to throw it back to you. All right, I'll draw for turn. Stand by main. Well, I will begin with a heavy storm. Well, that's going to bait this out, sadly. Uh, I will activate crush card in response. Oh, wow. Wow. That's wow. That's that's absurd. <sighs> it's not bad. OK, so unfortunately, I have some really sick targets here. Obviously, the dragoon goes. This dark arm dragon will also go. Oh. I couldn't find a way to get the third one into the grave. Um, and then the remainder of my hand is a phantom of chaos and a reinforcement of the army. Okay. Well, at least you still got the rota. That's fine. All right. Uh, so your other hit was sadly limit reverse. Uh, so I was going to get my disc commander again had you not had heavy storm. Wow. So okay. congratulations. Sure. All right. Um, so unfortunately we are past my standby phase, so I can't go for Dragoon here. I can do Dark Arm Dragon to pop your monster. I can do Plasma to do plasma stuff. That all sounds pretty bad. I'm just gonna go Rota here. Uh, we're gonna use Rota to go get Prisma here. Sending like a Dogma does jack anything. Whatever I get, it's gonna- It thins your deck by a bad card. Right. It's going to compete for my normal summon with the Phantom of Chaos, and I don't think there's ever a scenario in which I'm... Yeah, I'll I'll get Stratos here. That makes sense. It's also uh, just 100 over the Greffer, too, yeah. right? Like, the best thing I can do with Phantom of Chaos is turn it into a Dragoon and then pop your Greffer, you take 17. But that's, like, not reasonable because even though its attack is 3k, I can't dome you for 3k because you don't take right. damage from attacks involving it. So instead, I'm just going to go for straight as here. This makes sense, sure. Uh, we'll grab who Who do I want? Oh, God. I can't actually take Plasma or Dogma, I don't think, because if I draw like a King of the Swamp to get the poly, then you are just going to kill it with the Crush card. Right. Crush card actually makes this very difficult for you. <laughs> Prisma is funny. Okay, based on some stuff that I have, I'm going to get the Prisma to hand. Sure. All right, we'll go to combat. I'll attack. I'll take the 100. That's fine. Okay, back to you. All right, we'll go ahead and draw main one. Uh, so I don't really have a ton I can do here, but I do have something very funny I could do. Uh, I'm going to reborn your Dragoon. Oh, no. Yeah, that's fine. He, he works for me now. Oh, All right, boy. so we're going to bring him out. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I could attack or I could just use his effect to pop. And I think I'm going to do that because it's actually more damage since I don't really have much else I can do. So we'll use the effect. We'll take out the Stratos. Sounds good. Uh, I will just set one. And we will throw it your way. Let's see that card on Crush Card. It was Ocean. Ooh, okay. Not bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to normal summon Phantom of Chaos. And with Pryo, I will activate the effect. I uh, imagine you're going to be targeting Dad. Um, I guess Plasma is also very funny. Yeah, we'll be targeting Dad. So what happens here? You can banish to pop. I think I have to do this. Otherwise, you're just going to pop it. Uh, I will just Torrential then. Yeah. I mean, that gets the Phantom of Chaos off the board. Uh, yeah, but you're also just going to pop the Torrential if I don't do this now. Also uh, true. And then you're, yeah, so I might as well do it. All right, you've got a turn, buddy. What can you do? We'll draw. <laughs> We're trying. <laughs> Shit, I know the card in hand is Prisma. You do, yeah. Prisma in hand. Dragoon comes back. Yeah, that's a problem. I think I have to actually hope that you can't kill me here. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. Let's see it. Turn two on crush card. What do we got? Fucking king of the swamp. You, you're two for two on these crush cards. Crush card is only a thousand or more. Oh, 1500 or more? Oh, sick. All right. Uh, I'm going to go for a dragoon here. Uh, we're going to yeah. banish dogma and get it back out. So we can use king of the swamp here to get poly. We can use prisma to tag into something. We don't have the third material in rotation, so we can't make a double dragoon. I am going to summon the prisma. We'll Makes sense. Do we even go for the effect? 
I think not. I think instead I'm just gonna King of the Swamp. We'll go ahead and get a uh, polymerization. Sure. Ah, top card Miracle Fusion. Son of a gun. I should have waited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I will time. go Prisma in. Take 17. I will go D-Dragon. I'll take the 3K. All right, uh, back to you, buddy. All right, uh, there are several cards that do it. I don't think that's one of them. Okay, uh, I'm a bit desperate here, so I think I have to do this to play to my outs because I currently don't have any way to deal with your board. I'm going to special summon Cyber Dragon. I'm going to normal summon Cyber Valley. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to use Cyber Valley's second effect. I'm going to banish both itself and the Cyber Dragon and draw two cards. Ah, uh, because I get to just blank the Cyber Valley if I Dragoon it. Yeah, that's fine. Right. I'm going to Allure of Darkness. Oh, we're really digging. Yep. We're trying. Couldn't make it. Well, uh, we had plenty of cards to try to kill you oh here. Oh my but, god! Uh, Holy we shit! We didn't have. We didn't have any way to actually just get them into the grave because my oh life points god. were too low. So you got game one, buddy. Dragoon did it. All right. Uh, let's just hope that you never draw future fusion. Damn! I was so close. It just. I couldn't get everything on board just to kill you. I had the limiter removal all set for you. It was going to be <laughs> glorious, but just couldn't make it. Dragoon, too good. Even in 2008, who would have thought? Uh, I, I guess I go first again. It didn't exactly seem great, but you know, uh, gotta man, take what we can. I mean, I could give you the old advice that I got as a young individual trying to uh, play bad decks like this. Just draw future fusion, dummy. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, we'll try our best. I'm gonna start with destiny draw, pitching this dasher to draw two. Okay, that is a good start. Oh shit, I had a dasher in grave last game. Fuck, I think I could have killed you. Damn it, oh. all right, I have to remember I have dasher this time. All right, well, I know the comments are gonna roast me for that. We'll do what we can. Uh, well, this hand actually kind of sucks. I... <laughs> I like sort of bricked actually. I'll pass. That's okay. You you have time. Uh I Am I dead? I can't use King of the Swamp with fucking Destiny and Dragoon. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let me make sure that's how that works. It cannot be used to summon Destiny and Dragoon. It's the first sentence of Dead's effect. Okay, alright. You don't have to get sassy with me, Pojo Forum. Christ. Uh whew. well, I, I guess I can get the beats on. Let's normal summon Elemental Hero Ocean. Sure. All right. Gwacha. Take that. I'll take the 15. That's All right. fine. Second main, I'm going to set one, and uh, I guess you're good to go. All right. We're going to draw. Anything in standby. <laughs> no. Main one. I do have a Sidra I can run out. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Yep. Uh, Then, do I want to do anything else? Yeah, I'll sack for Jinzo. Oh, God. Yep. I figure getting one of these in rotation is pretty decent, so we'll, uh, we'll hit here. This is 900. Second main, I'll throw one down, pass it to you. Draw for turn, stand by main. I'm gonna MST your back row. It was a torrential. Uh, doesn't matter too much with Jinzo. Uh, I'm gonna E-call, nope. we'll grab Stratos. Sounds good. Uh, normal Stratos, I'll activate the effect. Sure, what are we grabbing? We're Prisma? grabbing Dogma. Ooh. And then it's we're just the fusion. gonna go. We're gonna go for it. Okay. All right, Dragoon has hit the field. Uh, I have to do math here. I'm doing 24 if I pop it. If I attack, I do... Six plus 18, which 24. Is 24. <laughs> Sick. All right, I'm going to pop it. Get him out of here. Okay. It's cooler that way. Yeah, yeah so yeah. I'll take 24. You see, I'm using the effect. All right. I um, already used my normal. Uh, I think I'm going to thin the deck just a little. We'll king of the swamp here. Ooh, okay. Sure. And then uh, back to you, buddy. All right. We'll draw. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, main one. How do we kill Dragoo? <laughs> <laughs> he returns. He's so good. He's just a little too slow. <sighs> this is actually terrible. All right. Uh, I guess I'm going to premature burial. Let's go. I'll bring back a Jinzo. You know, that's what you want to be spending your premature burial on in this deck. Uh, that seems terrible. Uh, yeah, whatever. We'll just kill the Stratos. Sure. I'll take how much here? Six? Just six. Yeah. It's nothing great, but potentially keeps you off lethal. Uh, second main, I'm just throwing it to you, buddy. All right. Uh, standby main. Oh, oh good. Christ alive. How do I not have lethal? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Wait, I'm so close. How do I not have lethal? I really am just so very close. Like, if you could summon another Dragoon, you have lethal. If I could but... summon a Karibo, I have lethal. 
<laughs> oh god. Okay. Um, I don't think it's even worth overcommitting, given that I do not have lethal. I have a phantom of chaos in hand. Ooh. Okay. I can like fant banishing plasma to take your Jinzo and do 3K, uh, which is crazy. I can fant banishing ocean to look at you. Very pretty. <laughs> Uh, but what I want to do is Fant banishing Stratos to get the effect, but I can't because that's not how it works. That's not how it works. <sighs> no. Okay, um, all of that understood. I think I'm just going to pop your guy. Makes sense. So I'm going to take 24 here. Oh, not happy about it. So frustrating. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, no big deal. Uh, you you just get another draw step. Heart of the cards. Okay. Oh, okay. No. Oh, I don't I'll like you that, baby. I don't like you that. Yeah, that's fine. I'll Rota. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah. going to Rota. So I can grab Stratos, which is what I'm leaning towards. Uh, Dark Greffer is also an option, but it doesn't do a whole lot at the moment. Uh, so then the easy call here is just to get the Stratos. Uh, has to be done. So we're going to do that. We're going to normal the boy. Yep. Use the effect. We're going to grab Disc Commander. Yep. Uh, we're going to try to unbrick our hand a bit here. God, here we go. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, did it go well for you? Did, you? Uh, did you unbrick your hand a little? <laughs> we did a little bit, but uh, Dragoon is still a problem. So I need to think about this, actually. This has to be lethal. All right, I'll figure it out. I'm firing Future Fusion, baby. Literally Let's like, go. Uh, you know, we'll let God <laughs> sort them out. Yep, Future Fusion's <laughs> fine. All right, so we're going to dump all of our machines. So get the Jinzo, get the Cyber Valley, get the Card Trooper, get the Sydra, get the Cyber Valley, get the Jinzo Returner, get the Jinzo Returner, get the Jinzo Returner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the Cyber Valley. I think that's every machine in my deck. Cool. Okay. Uh, obviously, uh, Chimera Tech Over Dragon is the card here. Uh, now I have the effects of two Jinzo Returners. Sadly, I have one of the Jinzos in hand, so we're not gonna be using that. Okay. So we can bring these both out, and it's cool and all, but you know what? I'm still fucking dead, because I have no way to kill Dragon. <laughs> what? Are, what? <laughs> you don't have a limiter removal? <laughs> I don't have the limiter removal, no, sadly. And I can make, I have Overload Fusion for Chimera Tech over Dragon, but it wipes my whole board. Because so I can fusion, kill Dragoon, right. and guess what happens? Next standby phase, you bring back Dragoon and kill Chimera Tech over Dragon. So I'm dead anyway. <laughs> Oh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. God. Is it? What does Chimera Tech Over Dragon do? It only can attack monsters oh, a number of times for each. It, it doesn't get attacks. <laughs> it's a GX card, Joseph. It can't do attacks directly. It only can attack monsters. So you're, you're sell saying you can end this uh, turn with an 8,800 attack point monster on board. Uh, no, not that big, but like a, a 6,500 attack point monster on board. You can wipe the entire field. But because you can't attack directly, you lose. Correct. So the only the only viable way I even have a chance still in this game, which still doesn't kill you because of Chimera Tech Dragon's effect. Let's say I don't summon these Jinzos. Right. Right. So I can overload fusion for Chimera Tech over Dragon. Right. So my board gets wiped. I have to banish a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten machines that are on the or in my graveyard. That makes Chimera Tech eight thousand attack. This only does five thousand to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's, uh, that is, I am going to bring him back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You are going to bring him back and then I'm fucking dead. So you know what, buddy? Go ahead. <laughs> All right. We're going to try for it. Uh, wee. uh, heavy storm. I guess I, you know, can't chain limit reverse. So uh, phantom yeah. of chaos for plasma. <laughs> sure. Plasma, your monster. See, that's more funny, right? Miracle fusion. <laughs> oh, even better. You just get to style that. Zero. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Things, oh Christ. This got out of control pretty quick. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we had okay. the ability to kill you, but I guess this deck's damage to... threshold or uh, the attack cap is at twenty four hundred because of fucking shit. I gotta ask you the question. Did you open this Jinzo? I did, so I oh, couldn't have dashered this no, Jinzo at any I'm opportunity. So sorry. I opened two Jinzos, <laughs> oh, actually. No! Uh, you know, sometimes it just happens. When you have like a Greffer, at least you can like get them out of your hand. And what's neat with Greffer is that you can actually go Greffer, uh, pitch. Uh, no, actually, no, I didn't have Greffer. I did something else with it. I don't remember. But um, with Greffer, you can go Greffer, pitch Jinzo, send Returner, and that triggers Returner to summon the Jinzo, which is kind of sick. Mm. Um, but. 
I think we should do a game three. I need yeah, to try to get sure. at least one off you for this. Let's let's just try. I'm so fucking mad. I, I future fusion god card. You know, fuck that. Doesn't win you the game in the face of Dragoon because you can't summon a big monster for two turns. Well, you know, um, uh, all I gotta say about that is uh, just open future fusion. It's just as simple just, as oh my god. Just get good, right? Yeah, this just is a hand. Get this is what I'm fucking looking for. Good. This hand. I, I have I have about five draws off the top of my deck that just make this hand so fantastic. I'm going to normal summon Cyber Valley. Yeah. <laughs> oh turn. yeah, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh my fucking lord. All right, I'll normal straight so I'll activate the effect. Sure. I, That's a good one. I, you know what I'm doing next, baby? I'm going to get Dogma to hand. Uh, I'm firing see off the poly. this poly. Uh, You're right when this deck can easily get to Dragoon. That never seems to be the issue. All right, so what's what's really cool and based and epic about this is um, uh, Dragoon effect. Yeah, sadly. Uh, uh, yeah, he's he's gone. Well, you know, I, it also is not any damage this turn. So really, he's just a Waboku. Yeah, which is fine. I'd prefer to get a draw and have a Waboku, but you know. King of the Swamp as well. Sure. Next two cards in my deck, Polly. Thank you. Uh, all right, pass back to you. Can we unbrick, please? Oh, that eradicator. Oh, I'll call oh. spell. Oh, oh, fantastic! <laughs> call spell. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess like I'm not totally dead here. Uh, so you hit an allure of darkness when I have no darks in hand, Sick. and you hit brain control when all you have is Stratos. All right. So. What are we, what else are we working with here, buddy? Uh, you're working with a card trooper, a Sidra, a crush card, and a limit reverse. Uh, all right. I mean these. They're still good. These are. I mean these suck ass. These are not good. Yeah. Uh, let's run out the Sidra. Yep. Normal to card trooper, prio activate. That's fine. Okay. Let's mill three. Oh. Well, there's my heavy right, storm. Let's go. Cool. Uh battle hit. I'll take what two here? Uh three and then nineteen from the trooper. And then second main, I guess I'm under eradicator, right? That's kind of annoying. Uh I will set one, I guess. I don't even know if I want to set this. I don't have anything on the field. Yeah, just yeah, go ahead. Very strange. Uh stand by, I will unsurprisingly bring my guy back. He doesn't have to be destroyed for you to bring him back. He just has to be sent to grave. Isn't that pretty funny? Uh, yeah. You know what else is funny? Uh, this. Uh, chain material. Fuck off. <laughs> really? <laughs> um. <laughs> Two Dragoon. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Uh, yep. Now, thankfully, this card is going to be destroyed during the end phase. Uh, so, you know, you, you don't really have to worry about it. Uh, I'm yeah, gonna go I don't have to worry about it. Dragoon no. Effect target Sidra. Take 21. Uh, Dragoon Effect target card trooper. <laughs> Take 400. I get to draw a card at least, but it's under Eradicator, so does it matter? Oh, actually, it's actually okay, because it's Jinzo Returner. Okay. So we have a chance. All right, we, we moving. All right, uh, I will uh, go to the end phase and lose my single Dragoon. And, uh, back oh, to how you. sad. He's gone. All right, we'll draw. Uh, this is turn one on Eradicator. I drew a Plasma, which good, is like good. terrible at this juncture. So it's it's well, CCV Limit Reverse Plasma. Uh, and Jinzo Returner with zero right. Jinzos in Grave. This it is going happen. well. It could happen. This is going well, right? All right, uh, I'm going to set one, set two, throw it to you. All right, uh, stand by. I'll get my, my dude back. That's so gross. That's so dumb. <laughs> All right, uh, main one. Uh, so Jinzo Returner does qualify for Crush Card, right? Correct. All right, so you can wipe my board here, and I only get one back uh, because I don't have enough Destiny Heroes in the graveyard. <gasps> oh, no. I don't have any Buddy. Destiny Heroes in the graveyard. But when my Destiny and Dragoons go to the graveyard, I still won't have any. They're not Destiny Heroes. Oh, they're not! <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, They're okay. Destiny End. <laughs> Uh, that's fine. I'll just go to combat. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll, we'll try it. Yeah, I mean, not a lot I can do about this. <laughs> uh, how am I losing this game? What's this card, buddy? What's this card, buddy? I get to know what this card is. Oh, it's, um, it's a uh, scapegoat. Okay. But, wow, that is, that is misery. Oh, God. I should have just chain materialed for an ab zero, but I wanted to be cute. All right. Well, uh, back to you. All right. Well, anyone's game. Uh, this is turn two on Eradicator for spell. It's torrential. Stop. So. Uh, you, you got three CCVs in a row off me. Uh, we'll go to main one. You have Scapegoat, which is highly annoying because, like, I could limit reverse for my card trooper. That still seems good. You've got, you know, Jinzo Returner in there already. Yeah, but, like... 
Jinzo, the bad part about Jinzo Returner is that the Jinzo dies at the end phase. It doesn't just yeah, stay around. That is an issue. Then. So like, I'm only getting like value for like one turn off of it. I think I'm actually just setting in passing here. Throw it to you. This is turn one on crush card for you. I'll go get a bunch of guys. Sure. What if I draw a plasma and you forget you have torrential? Ooh, all right. Crush card well, turn one. Him, all right, that dodges it. That dodges it. What if I normal summon him and just like, what's, what's the attack on returner? 600? It is 600 attack. <laughs> Shit. All right, well, it doesn't even contest that if you limit reverse it. Um, Imagine if they made a fusion of four scapegoats. Uh, I'm going to king of the swamp here. Just thin it a sure. little bit. Go grab a That's folly. Fine. Oh, next card was dad. He's not even online. All right, back to you. Uh, he's one dark off. He's pretty close. We're okay, close. we'll draw. Oh, I'm just the best player. We're just dodging EEV the entire oh my time. God. I, I'm just never playing this card again. I guess we have to start cleaning up the goats eventually, right? So I'm going to normal summon this returner. Yeah. I'm going to torrential, just clean up the board. That does clean up the board, yes. Uh, then we will limit reverse, mm -hmm. bringing back card trooper. Yep. And what's sick about this is that we can fire the effect and it doesn't kill card trooper. Ooh, All right. Okay. We're getting there. Uh, we'll hit for 19. All right. Sure. Put you on a little bit of a clock when you have nothing good in hand and crush cards sort of ripping you alive here. Uh, I'll just pass it to you, buddy. What was it? Chain material. Oh God. <laughs> See you in a turn, <laughs> buckaroo. See you in a turn. <sighs> All right. We'll draw. Uh, I wish that was a way to actually kill you. Okay. Uh, card trooper. No Jinzo, no Jinzo, no Jinzo, no Jinzo, no Jinzo, no Jinzo. Let's go. It doesn't matter. I didn't need Jinzo and Returner to get hit here. Uh, and unfortunately, I didn't hit either one. Plus, I have two Returners in Grave, so it wasn't likely to happen anyway. So am I just dead in the face of this chain material? Like, probably? All right. We'll hit you for 19. All right, sure. And then we'll throw it to you. All right. Stand Last by crush me. card turn. What do we got? It's Phantom of Chaos. That dodges it. All right. Uh, okay, so there's actually a lot I can do with Phantom of Chaos, too. Uh, not that much. Uh, I'll chain material. We'll go for Polly. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna sense. banish King of the Swamp and Stratos. Bring out Ab Zero. Yep. Uh, can't do my battle phase this turn, so I'm gonna Phantom of Chaos, mm -hmm. declare targeting Destiny and Dragoon, and we'll pop your card trooper. Okay, so I'll take 400 here. I get to draw a card off of this. <laughs> Excellent. I'm just realizing chain materialing for Ab Zero is penis bad. It doesn't do anything. Because it just gets destroyed in the end phase. <laughs> what the fuck? This is terrible. Well, there's nothing <laughs> else I can summon. Well, you know, that's just the way it is. <laughs> I mean, you already won this one, so it's not like it really matters. Uh, this only prevents from battle damage when you're... It's only battle damage the opponent yeah, You can take. still dome uh, me over this card. Okay, sure. So I can just kill you like this. Ah, well, you know, that will do it. Uh, we really got uh, the Next card the off the top, by the way, buddy, was a Jinzo. Let's so, go. Of course. Let's yeah. go. How about, I went like 20 cards deep, didn't see a single Jinzo. That that makes sense. But, oh, my God. You know, overall, we got to see some really stupid bullshit, yeah. right? Uh, this was still in a time when Dark Arm Dragon was dominant, and everyone was trying to just come up with anything they possibly could to just have some sort of edge, or if they didn't want to pay and shell out for dad. This is kind of funny. You know, there are like ways to get Jinzo and Jinzo return into the graveyard quite easily with Future Fusion, you know, with Dark Greffer especially. And, you know, it does give you a lot of reach in terms of damage, but at the end of the day, it's it's very high rolly. <laughs> and it's very optimistic that this is going to happen. <laughs> yeah, it's funny for sure. It is, it it is, is funny. comedy. Uh, it's not very good, no. And then your deck, on the other hand, actually looked like pretty competent the first two games. Like yeah. Dragoon and... Like, 2008 seems pretty good. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, like Cloudy in last episode, uh, this is just one of those decks, you know, like a GX yeah. archetype that could have taken off, but Dragoon matches up exceptionally poorly against Dark Armed Dragon, right? You're jumping through all these hoops to summon a monster that can pop one card per turn and then can't attack. Dark yep. Arm Dragon can eat the whole board and then go to combat, right? So, And you can summon three of it in a turn with, like, no cost yeah. on top of it. So, yeah, I mean, it is really frustrating. I think that this period of Jank is just really showcasing that if Dark Arm Dragon wasn't dominated in, during this period, if they had been a lot more uh, heavy-handed with the ban list and gotten rid of a lot of these goat staples, we really could have seen a format that includes some fan-favorite GX monsters, and instead, we literally just sat through an entire season of dad dominance. And uh, that's unfortunate. That's why there's so many decks to cover for History of Jank, though, because Dad just overshadowed literally everything else in the format. Yeah, none of this shit ever topped. Like, I got my no. list from someone who was like, I'm 10-1 and 1 on Duel.
dueling network. And I was like, I yeah, bet mine you was are. 14 in one. For Yo, the record. <laughs> dude, shouts out to when people would just straight up say their win rate on dueling book. They'd be like, yep, this deck has gone 20 and oh against players that are on blue eyes turbo. Although blue eyes turbo is probably fine at this period. Yeah, you could you could believe those people too, right? They'd never lie. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, uh, what what incentive do they have? So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another episode. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons as always. So big shout to Shout1317, Moto Cameron Smith, SJ Winchester, Kadok Meatball, Ian Musa, Tomb 0 x 3 Ike Iron Fang, Part 2, Pony Stark, Dan the Med Hoban, Secret Guy, Ole, Yusuf Asin 05, MBT Play, Medolce, Mystic Walk, I Ship MBT, and Simo, Cole T, Draconic, Rockside, Dolly Wop, Logan, Thomas, Peter Gregory, Thomas Selson, Jordan Coons, Calvin Iron Blayton, Pure Ace, Jesse Wood, Tuner, Guys, and Brother Paul, Chris Ho, David Liu, Ruxin's Horny Fan, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, John Two Base, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Day Sir, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Ashlyn Jensen, Give Me Speed word or give me death seriously guys please read your cards tc gaming thanks for the sleeves dad matthew brady max mbt bathwater vendor tom russell why read your cards when you can just click buttons ban snatch shield for prog 2021 omar paint french girls like one of your mbts black acre the entire state of indiana these cards we are not the same you drink flat tummy tea i drink m bussy tea mbt fans scare me more than covid simping for simo abbott ygo ethan Steele, and horny bonking mbt fans thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.